Honey Bees, my name is Raven, this is October, and welcome back to our channel! Subscribe to become part of the hive! Be sure to like and ring the notification bell! Thanks, Honey Bees! Enjoy the video! Meow! He hasn't been in a video in a long time, huh, baby? He hates being in videos! Damn, this is bright on my face. Sorry if that's distracting. <laughs> I got a very bright screen reflecting on me right now. Um, okay, so I wanted to do a quick trailer reaction. I did some for some upcoming 2024 movies um, like a month or two ago. More are coming out all the time, so I definitely want to keep up with some of them. Um, I have a couple real reviews on the way. I just recently saw Drive Away Dolls and Late Night with the Devil. And this weekend, I'm seeing the new Ghostbusters movie as well as uh, Love Lies Bleeding. And I know I'm gonna wanna talk about all of those in different videos um, or mix them up in different videos. So those are coming, real reviews are coming. I just wanted to <laughs> cover uh, a couple of trailers first. Um, at least there's two that I really wanted to do and then we'll just see if I can find more. The first one is this one, Harold and the Purple Crayon. This trailer came out three days ago, it says right here, uh, and I, almost clicked on it. I went to click on it and then I clicked out because I said I have to do a reaction to this. <laughs> this is highly anticipated for me because I love Zachary Levi. I just adore him. I know people are like, why is he doing this? Isn't it isn't Harold from Harold and the Purple Crown a baby? You know, we all read the book when we were younger. Um but I don't care. I don't care. I we're gonna we're gonna find out. We're gonna judge for ourselves right now if this movie looks good. So let's just get right into it. This Harold and the Purple Crown. Here we go. When someone tells a story, they create an entire world. Got subtitles on for us this time. And usually... Oh, it's the baby. The characters stay there. Oh, maybe Harold gets older? Oh. The characters are so real. With the crayon, anything is possible. That they step right into this world. Let's see how this baby works in the real world. The real world, like your world isn't real. That's funny. So it, so is he the grown kid? Is he the kid from Harold? And the, is Harold the kid, and he is grown? It came into the real world, maybe because the book is as old as he is. So many questions. Not being negative so far. I'm still digging it because I love Zachary. Oh. Oh. That is creative. Look how expressive Zachary Levi that's is. Terrifying. He's always like. That's terrible. That's terrifying. <laughs> Do you know what brought you to life? It's what your crayon is made of. The most mysterious, powerful, extraordinary stuff on earth. Stardust. Wax. Pure imagination. Oh, is that Jermaine Clement? No way. Okay. I am getting really good at this. Oh my god. What were you thinking? Oh no, honestly, I, I don't do a lot of thinking. True. August. Wow. Summer movie. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I still don't really know what to expect. <laughs> but so I like when trailers don't like give you like what the story is. You know, we'll figure out our own plot. I'll figure out the plot when I see the movie. Um, Zachary Levi looks great, as always. Let's go back to his face for a second. There he is. Nice. Love it. They covered up his grays. I like his salt and pepper hair. I prefer that, but I think they wanted to make him a little bit younger looking, even though he's in his 40s, but still gorgeous. Look at that flawless skin. Uh, he's funny, you know. I really, I just, I just, even after watching the trailer, I do not know what to expect from this movie, and I don't really have an opinion. I think I'm going to have to ruminate on this one. I'm definitely going to see it. I did. I mean, obviously, I read that book. Who didn't read that book? Um, I want to see how they explain why he's older. <laughs> Made a pure imagination. Who is Jermaine Clement's character? 
so many questions that I need to find out. So looking forward to that one. Who knows? That one could be a one star film, could be a three star, could be a four and a half. I don't think we're going to get a five star out of this, but, you know, could go either way. You watch your reaction and the person's like, could be good, could be bad. Like, I'm so bad. <laughs> like, I don't know. This is like the one trailer that's like baffled me. I don't know what to think. Um, <laughs> Let's just go right to the next one. Let me did you guys, were you guys able to form an opinion from watching this trailer? Let me know what your opinion was. I'm looking forward to it just for Zachary Levi. So I'm going to believe that it's going to be a good movie. So I'm just going to believe it's going to be a good movie. You know, we'll learn more when it comes out. Okay, so this is the Beetlejuice sequel. For the longest time when, like, this was announced long ago and who was going to be in it and posters were coming out i was like this is a fake movie this isn't going to be real people do that all the time like titanic 2 jack's back stuff like that and this used to be like a fake concept many years ago and then they actually like did it so up until right now i kind of always a little bit thought it was a fake movie it, the same with hocus pocus 2 um i really even though i was seeing like billboards of that movie I thought it was fake until it was released. And I didn't even see it because I didn't like Hocus Pocus 1. But that's beside the point. But this is just like, feels like such a fake sequel. I can't believe they made it. I was invited to a preview screening of this a while ago. So in theory, I could have already seen this whole movie already. I couldn't go. So I guess I'm just going to have to wait until it actually comes out. So I have not seen this yet. I have not seen the teaser trailer. The only thing I've seen are like some images from the teaser on Twitter. So I am really excited. <laughs> I'm really excited to see what this has to offer. Let's do it. Love a blind reaction. I don't do them not very often. Classic. Nostalgia bait right off the bat. Oh, right off the bat. How could you not? How could you not do nostalgia bait in a movie? Like, I guess there's a way to do it without nostalgia bait. There's movies that have done that, but. I just feel like it's unavoidable with something like this. Lydia, yeah, that's her daughter. Oh, Catherine O'Hara. I'm assuming that was the dad's funeral. Because that actor's dead. Juice is loose. Yep. Okay, let's end with a close up on that Michael Keaton Beetlejuice face. Yeah. I was what I was like, he's so old. How are they gonna but you know, Beetlejuice is supposed to be like ugly grimy, so I guess it works with his naturally aged face. I'm not saying Michael Keaton is ugly, but he is quite a bit older now than he was when he was Beetlejuice. But I it works so far in this trailer, I guess. Um, I'm wondering if they're gonna have the original couple. I doubt Alec Baldwin is in this movie because he was he was the husband in the first movie. I forget what his character's name was, but uh I don't know. Like, are they going to be in it? I would love to see them, even though they have aged significantly. Alec Baldwin does not look the same. And since they're ghosts, that wouldn't make sense. Are they going to have CGI people like they did in the Ghostbusters remake from, like, two years ago? I have so many questions. I guess that's what a teaser trailer is supposed to evoke, like, interest. And this is evoking my interest, for sure. It's great to see Winona Ryder. Always great to see Winona Ryder. Where are you, Winona? There you are. Love her. Aged so gracefully. Always so beautiful. Excited to have more Lydia Dietz content. Older Lydia Dietz content. Love to meet her as an adult. Uh, I'm assuming Jenna Ortega is kind of just going to do her Wednesday shtick because that kind of fits in with what Lydia's daughter would be like, right? Don't you? I think so. I mean, I don't know. I'm not saying she's like a one trick pony or anything. She's been in a lot of horror stuff, but with Tim Burton also producing it, I'm sure he's just like, you know, I imagine him being like just similar to Wednesday. Catherine O'Hara, where are you, Queen? There she is, Queen. Can't wait to get more of her too. I'm, you know what? I am looking for like I love Beetlejuice. I wore this Beetlejuice sweatshirt specifically for this reaction video, so I am excited for this. I am just worried it's gonna be like 
all sequel bait and not be like a story in its own right. But we'll find out. I mean, I love Tim Burton. Like I said, I love Beetlejuice. I am excited for more content. I hope it isn't all pandering. I hope there is some unique stuff there. But you know what? We'll find out. Can't wait till the full trailer releases. I probably won't do a separate reaction for that as well. But I will be watching it. In September, it's coming out right around my birthday. That's gonna be that's what's great about having your birthday at the end of September. All of the uh Halloween movies usually come out around that time. <laughs> So that's exciting. Let's see what else we can find. The Crow remake trailer has officially dropped. I didn't realize that the trailer dropped. I The announcement came out not too long ago. This trailer came out nine days ago. And a lot of people on my Twitter feed are hating on it. But I'm super excited for it because I love Bill Skarsgård. I, disclaimer, I haven't actually seen the original The Crow uh, with Brandon Lee. I do plan on seeing it before this movie comes out because I definitely want to see this movie. Just because I love Bill Skarsgård alone. <laughs> Same reason why I want to watch Harold and the Purple Crane, because I love Zachary Levi. So let's see what The Crow is all about. I do know a little bit enough the about the original. About me. I thought that you were quite brilliantly broken. Oh, oh hot. You feel like my person. <laughs> you feel like my person. Post Malone song in the trailer? What's the worst thing you've ever done? Whole things. Wow. I've never seen any of it. This is pandering to me specifically so far. All the stuff I like. Oh no. Oh, trigger warning for death in this video. Crumbling my arms down to your heart. Stone. I might have to cut out the music part of this. When someone dies, a crow carries Are they gonna play the Post Malone the part of the song? And sometimes something so bad happens <laughs> that the soul cannot rest. Damn. Aesthetically amazing so far. Until you put the wrong things right. I like Bill's look. I saw some hate about it. God. There's my man. If I'm cutting out the music for copyright purposes, just know that they did play some Post Malone's voice. Look at, okay, first of all, though, sorry to pause before it's over, but I like Bill Skarsgård's look in this. I like it. I People were hating on Twitter that he looks like a SoundCloud rapper. I think he looks hot. I think he looks really hot. Let's continue. But you're running out of time to save her. I'm gonna Sexy. Kill them. Every single one of them. Do it, Bill. Hell yeah. I killed you. Yeah, you did. We have a problem. He came for us. Oh, look at him right now! Look at this! Hot! Love it! Yes. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is a bloody ass trailer. This is like an N17 trailer. Look at what you've become. You know that love promises only pain. No, I do. Oh my god. How many Holy shit. I never be alone. Wow. Okay, let's find a good let's here we go. Woo, that shit went off. Bro, that shit went so hard. I'm pumped, dude. Never has a man looked hotter, I think. I'm determining that right now. Never has a man looked hotter than this here, right now, in this moment. So, first in line for this one. I, if I could get tickets right now, I would. <laughs> really excited. Yeah, I mean, 
the story of the crow uh, brandon lee's look in the crow is amazing i guess maybe i need to watch the original before i can give a true opinion on this but i i love a remake where it's its own thing i don't need to have watched the original and hopefully this is that hopefully i won't need to have watched the original to get what's going on in this one in its own complete movie its own complete story that's what a remake should be to me like if you're remaking something the old one shouldn't have anything really to do with it unless it's like a sequel you know like a late sequel same universe kind of situation but this looks like a straight up remake because his name is eric you know eric draven um and it's like similarly the same story from what i know about the crow if not the same story so um i'm excited about this like this is a really well put together trailer it looks fantastic aesthetically fantastic it looks like it's gonna really go hard and i'm psyched for that love bill speaking of we're gonna watch one more because there's another movie that he's gonna be in soon this trailer came out a month ago um this is the only trailer so far that we're gonna watch um that i've seen i saw this in theaters the other day i'm gonna say i wanted to not see it because i did want to include it on this reaction Oh, I lied. The Monkey Man trailer. We might have to watch one more after this. Oh, no. It's going to be a long video. I didn't mean for it to be. But <laughs> this one, Boy Kills World. I remember hearing about this movie like well over a year ago, maybe two years ago, where when I heard about it, I was like, oh, this is a movie. I was looking up Bill Skarsgård movies because I love him. Um, And I thought that this movie was already released. And I was like, oh, maybe it just hasn't been released in the U.S. yet. But no, I, it was a movie that like was in pre-production at the time and I didn't realize that until just recently the trailer came out I was like oh that movie when I heard about it was far off from coming out that's why I couldn't find where to watch it so that makes sense so now it's finally coming out so I have been anticipating this film for years since I heard about it a couple years ago so um I did see the trailer once because I saw I went to the movies the other day and it played but we'll watch it again together because it's a good trailer and I'm definitely going to see this movie so let's watch it together let's do this Bill Skarsgård doing a lot of stuff like this recently this was never a great city <laughs> but it was ours are you with me oh. uh, Van H. John Benjamin's voice gets me every time because <laughs> i love bob's burgers so it's just bob to me you know i didn't even watch archer it's just bob um and i love that he's the voice in the trailer i love it decoy took it from us this is how she keeps control they call it the calling they're all gonna watch and cheer as you die that's me facing televised execution <laughs> by breakfast cereal mascots uh h john benjamin <laughs> is my happiest day Bill Skarsgård. Let me take you back to an even worse inner moment. monologue. <laughs> the day the Vandercoys killed my family and left me deaf and mute. So I made a three-step plan. Step one: give myself an inner voice. I took the last one I remembered from this video game. Player one wins. Step two: get stronger, a lot stronger. You know, sorry to keep pausing, but people don't like when I talk over the trailers. But I guess if you're going to get fit for a role, you might as well do a bunch of roles at once where you have to be fit. He was just in John Wick 4. And not that he had to be muscular for that because he was like a villain that didn't do a lot of fighting. But, you know, you have to look good and trim for it. And then, you know, let's get muscly for the Crow remake. Let's get muscly for this one so that let's do them all at once so that I don't have to stay fit and get unfit and get fit again you know just do it all at once that's smart bill it's smart just do a bunch of movies where you're fit it is a shame he won't be talking in it because he is a good like monologuist but i'm fine with just seeing him he's expressive as well okay let's keep going step three join a team welcome to the resistance yeah Go, go team. The mission is simple. This looks like a video game movie. Make I don't know if this is. Pay for what they have done. I don't know if this is based Insert on a video game. Crazy action montage. But it looks like something that would be based on a video game, you know, which isn't a bad thing. Are you talking to me? It's not a video game. I've just been informed that Boy Kills World is not a video game, thanks to the the video game ghost, the gamer ghost. That's why he's here to correct me on gamer knowledge. So thank you, gamer ghost. 
Here comes the hopper. You know how hard it is to get a serial company to sponsor mass murder? Looks wow. very action-y. Yeah, an action orgy. Yeah. Definitely looks it. I was gonna say before I was interrupted by the game, I guess. Producer of It. Yeah, and Barbarian. Bill Skarsgård was a big part of both- well, a big part of It. He was in the beginning of Barbarian, but yeah, that producer loves him. I just- I get it. He's a good muse. I don't like this plan. You have reached your final destination. information. I'm gonna help you. Stop! Wow, that's gonna be bloody. Well, he wasn't gonna help us. Definitely sounded like he was gonna help us. I'm excited for the inner monologue like throughout the movie. Like that's gonna be that's gonna add some like good comic relief to what looks like a lot of bloody action. Um, yeah, I'm excited for that. <laughs> like, just because I love this guy, I'm not usually into like actiony things, but I do like the John Wick movies, even though they have a lot of fighting. It's very well choreographed, and and this kind of reminds me of that well choreographed. And you know, Sam Raimi and um other producers listed, like those are all like good movies. So I do think this is gonna be good. Like, if not just for Bill Skarsgård, for everything else, because it it looks good to look at. It was like. It had a great color palette. Sorry, I didn't stop on a good one. But uh, here we go. Let's look at him. There he is. Love this outfit. You know? It's, like, not, like, super dingy, but it's not super bright either. There were parts where it was really, like, bright and cool and fantastic. Like, all the stuff with, like, the cereal gate, like, the cereal mascots. And this room right here, this is a good frame to stop on. Look at that set. Um, I'm a sucker for sets. If your cinematography, if your production design is great... I'm automatically awarding an extra point for the film just because I like looking at it. But the story seems interesting, too. I think it's going to be a good one. Bill Skarsgård, best Skarsgård. You can't change my mind. All right, we're going to end with Monkey Man. We're not going to... I was going to end with this one, but I love Dev Patel. This is a theme of trailers with actors I really like in them. So we're going to end with Monkey Man. I have actually seen this trailer before, too, but it's a good trailer, and I'm excited for this movie, and I want to share it with you all. And then you find a lot of action trailers we're reacting we're reacting to too when i was a boy my mother used to tell me a story of a demon king and his army dev patel's they directing debut i think the land. which is great for him i love him until they face the go, protector king. of the people the white monkey Jordan Peele produced city, it. Love. The rich don't see us as people. In case anyone else hasn't heard about this movie before, um, the story, what I saw about this on Twitter, I've been on Twitter a lot lately, um, is that this is like Dev Patel's, you know, directorial debut, I'm pretty sure. And it was originally going to go straight to streaming, but Jordan Peele saw it and was like, nah, this is too good. Let me produce it and then we'll put it in theaters. So now it's going to be a theatrical release, which is so exciting. Um, it's gonna get a lot more recognition that way, I think, and that's that's great. Good for Dev Patel. He deserves it. Give me the job no one wants to do. I'll do it. Anyone who forgets their place doesn't turn out well for them. This is not the place to work if you can't handle that sort of stuff. Lunch. Every day. I've prayed for a way to protect the weak. I've got an answer to every prayer. I call her Nikki. Minaj, big bumper, <laughs> nice headlights. Let's boogie. Love a little bit of comic relief in my action movies. Truly necessary, I think. Good music, hopefully in the movie and not just the trailer. 
Ooh. The fish! All those fish are gonna die. No. Ah, there's my little bit of comic relief. I love it. You need to fight. See your mother. For all of us. And they're gonna quiet your soul, my son. Don't call me son. It's time to remember who you are. But only love kills more when will they learn? Wow, I'm so vibing right now. Just one small ember can burn I love this mask. Everything. <laughs> This looks pretty hardcore too. That's a hardcore shit we're watching today. This music they chose for this trailer. I hope it's the same kind of music in the movie because this is intense and I love it. Necessarily intense. All right. Dang. Good. We got a good view of his face? Here we go. Nope. There we go. Yeah. Look at that emotion. The range on this man. This looks sick. This looks so <laughs> A lot of a lot of hardcore looking movies coming out soon. These are all movies that I definitely want to see for one reason or, or another. Mostly because an actor I like is in them. That's the running theme through these trailer reactions, I guess. But yeah, let me know what you guys thought about all these. A couple action, a couple non-action, you know. A little, a little bit of variety, more action than I would normally react to and that I would normally want to watch, but maybe I'm getting a little bit more into action movies. You know, action movies these days, they're getting good stories too, along with their action, and the action is fun. Maybe I'm just warming up to it, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think, Um, if there's any other movies that you guys are looking forward to, if you guys want to watch these ones, any thoughts, I'd love to know it. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Thanks for watching, honeybees. Make sure to like and subscribe. Bye. Meow.